Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Ana Claudia. How are you? Fine, thank you. Just on time. <laughs> My God. Ana Claudia, on the nick of time, remember? On the nick of time. Ay, ya lo voy a anotar. On the nick of time. Okay. How are How you are doing? You? How's everything? Uh, oh. You know. But you're the same. Well, I continue uh, cleaning. Well, Yesterday, I didn't work because of the constructions in my home and there were, no, there was a lot of, of um, dust. Yeah. There was or there were? There was. Okay, there was a lot of dust. Uh, we've been trying to clean a little bit because tomorrow in the morning, uh, they will continue working uh, on the other side of my home, in the part of the little garden we have, we think we have problems with water. Underwater, sería, sería. No, no. En las aguas negras, ajá. Ooh. We think, we don't know. So tomorrow they will be uh, making some movements, making a hole in one part, another hole Digging in another. Up. Digging up. Digging. 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 Oh, yep. really? Okay. D I G G I N G. I saw that word, but I didn't know the meaning. Mm. Once I saw that word. Okay, they, they will be digging up, and um, then we hope that there is no issue uh, there in the garden, but we don't know until tomorrow. So, tomorrow there will be more dust so i think we will continue living and cleaning just uh, a little until the weekend on the weekend yes we were going to make a, a deep cleanup in my house oh. good luck oh That's yes very work <laughs> okay yes uh, yes i'm tired you know but this movement was necessary. It was planned since uh, one year and a half ago, I guess. It's been on the make for one year and a half. It's been on what? On the on make. On the make, yes. Made the meta. Make. Make, the M A K. Yep. yep. Really? <laughs> Has been on the make. Yeah, it has been on the make. Ah, okay, it has been is, on... Uh -huh. Yeah, it, that expression means it has been in process. Uh-huh, correct. It okay. has been on the make. It has been on the make. Okay. And, and I can say it has been on the make one year and a half ago. For one year and a half. Okay, for one year and a half ah okay got it thank you that's like an idiom right it has been on the make yeah. no oh, yeah. yeah could be ah, okay and the other bird is digging digging up yeah. right yeah digging up okay well worse. thank you <laughs> every day i learn <laughs> new things it's cool it's cool that's the idea no mm -hmm. yes that's right so that's uh, how my day was going today. I hope tomorrow, I don't know, <laughs> but I That's hope better. 
remember that tomorrow they will be digging up. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm talking in regarding to the dust. Yeah. And the problem is this, that whenever you start working around the house, I mean, uh, you start doing something and in the end you finish doing more, spending exactly. more, and exactly. things get more complex. You are right. That is what exactly is happening because the, what tomo uh, tomorrow's uh, work this uh, wasn't in the original plan, but it's something that is necessary to do it in order to work the other, for the other uh, repairs works yeah. uh, well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, that's what once we were talking with uh, your classmate here, Daniel, mm -hmm. he's got a company who specializes on that, mm -hmm. renovations and building up new stuff. Mm -hmm. and. He always tells me, yeah, we start doing something, but in the end, the client starts adding up or some things appear. Appears, exactly. Yeah, I mean, there's always something else coming up when exactly. you're working like that. And I had and... in the budget, uh, it, I was thinking it, and I had a little bit of my budget thinking and a new thing will come up and, and that is exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but you know, you prepare and girl smiles. <laughs> hey that was good <laughs> yeah. you actually is you plan in god smiles you plan in god smile okay thank you yeah that's the way it goes and i love you welcome to the class always thank a you, pleasure now my pleasure too thank you teacher jose wilfredo Hello, teacher. How are you? Okay. Well, now that you are an old man, how old are you now? <laughs> the same as usual. Okay. How old are you now? Thirty what? I'm thirty-five. Thirty-five. Ah, yeah. You are young. Yeah. So, how was it? How's everything? Oh, everything was good yesterday because my family organized a party, and then we make a grill. Happy so birthday. <laughs> hey, thank you, Ana Claudia. <laughs> Today is your birthday or it was yesterday? Yesterday. No, it, it was, was yesterday. yesterday. Oh my God. Yeah. His family throw a party, right? Throw. Yeah, remember it's throw, throw. Throw. throw Did you write it in the you. chat, maybe? Throw, throw, like throw something? Yeah. Yeah, like. Really? Uh huh? Uh, uh -huh. Throw. Yeah. Yeah, they throw a party. Similar, but throw a party. Uh -huh, throw a party. Throw a party. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it was really good to treat. Well, no, in this case, it would be true. True, because we are talking in the past, right? Mm -hmm. ah. True. That that would be like um, montar una fiesta. Mm -hmm. My yeah so uh yesterday i didn't know anything about it it was good oh it was a surprise party yeah that's right because Ooh. my plan was be on on class mm -hmm. so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna complain to your family <laughs> yeah so it was really good that's nice. That's nice to have the opportunity to share with family. It's always good. Yeah, that's right. So, so how was today? Today was a relaxing day. So I saw the, the match, uh, the soccer game match. Who was playing? Uh, Real Madrid contra el Paris, uh, versus Paris Saint-Germain. Okay, who won? Uh, Paris Saint-Germain was a good game. But I so I like to watch a good uh, soccer players, so that's why I'm watch that that game. Okay. What you mean is that you like you enjoy watching a good match. Ah, okay. Yeah, I enjoy watching a good a match. Good match. Yeah. Okay. That's I enjoy good. watching yeah. a good match. And uh, you know, the only sport I, I was able to watch this weekend, what was it? Oh, just the fights. 
Mm -hmm. That was the only one that I watched on the weekend. What kind of fight? I mean, uh, MMA. Ah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's the only sport that is mandatory in my house. <laughs> Some punches. Yeah, no, the thing is this, that uh, my wife and my son, they practice uh, kickboxing, so, I mean, they, oh, they enjoy that. Yeah, that's right. That's right, because it is a one part of, of that uh, sport. Yeah. So they, yeah. Enjoy, they enjoy watching that, and it's fun. So I get along. I mean, I, I'm really more into box, but it's cool. Yeah. It's okay. I like it. Yeah, that sport is interesting. Yeah, but it's hard and heavy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But you know how to fight with other people when they look for it? Uh, yeah, in a way, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, that's a good one. But my favorite sport is soccer. That's your favorite one. Yeah, that's my favorite sport. Soccer game. Yeah, soccer so. is good. Yeah. I also watch some other sports too, like basketball and football, American football. I used to watch them, but nowadays, you know, whenever I got some free time, um, I'm reading actually. Right now I'm reading. <laughs> I'm reading yeah. a lot. It like I know. you know it really distracts me, it takes me out of yeah. this world. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So that's mostly what I do. I mean, I, I catch a movie once in a while, but not that much. And and I watch TV. Often. Well, actually, I watch TV sometimes before sleeping around. When I go to bed around 12, uh -huh. from 12 to 1 or 12 to 2 a.m., that's when I watch TV, but mm -hmm. no big deal. I mean, I'm not like paying that much attention to it. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I only watch TV when I saw a, a, a match or something like that, but I don't used to watch a, a lot of TV. Yeah, and that's funny, you know, because we got uh, them apps, we got uh, two of them actually, and my son and my wife, they got their series and stuff, they enjoy it. <laughs> that's cool, I mean, that's cool, actually, actually, I got it for them, because uh -huh. in my case, I never got enough time. Not really. Yeah, I and when I and when I do, I'm doing some other things. Like, I mean, I like to do some things around the house, little projects. Like, you know, I still need to finish painting. I got some some rooms to paint. I need to paint the, at this room and mm -hmm. also one bathroom, the garage. And then I'm gonna move to paint my in-laws house. I'm gonna help them. So. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. Uh, oh, I need to do some little things with um, related to carpentry also. Mm -hmm. For carpenter. Those, well, you know, I, I hammer a little bit. <laughs> it's just it's just entertaining, and I also got another project. I mean, I gotta make mm -hmm. a a table for my sister. She gave me the the wood, the piece of wood, uh -huh. a center table. So mm -hmm. I mean, I got little projects. So. Whenever I got free time, I do that. Mm -hmm. Do you have and, you the, know, those? Yeah, tell me. Do you have the tools made? It? Yeah, you know, with the past of the years, I've been like getting more and more tools, <laughs> and I'm still missing a lot. Yeah. But it's But maybe it's not me. you. If not, then maybe your wife took it or your son used it. No, no, no. My tools, just me. I'm the only one who used them. Ah, okay. That's that's, only... that's really good when you don't have any anybody to to talk to yeah. take them. No. Yeah, and I mean, 
And it's just that I'm the only one who makes that kind of stuff here. So no problem about it. Jose, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for us. Marta, hello, Marta. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, I am tired, teacher. I am working. What for? Yet. You are doing nothing. <laughs> I am working. Yes, yeah, that's, teacher. That's the same old trick, you know. It, yeah, I I am a close the year for my company, the Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. for the the more financial. So I am fun. <laughs> You're having fun right now. Excuse me, teacher. You're having fun right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's normal, you know. What can we do? Yeah, happen, happen. <laughs> yeah, it happens, it happens. Marta, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, let me get the attendance before we move on. Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez? Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez? Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia? Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilmen Frank Figueroa Peñate. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Okay. Shanira, hello. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm really good. Thank you for asking. And you? I'm just fine. I just hear you typing, right? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm typing. Right. You working? Yes, teacher. Uh, that's so bad. You know, you have had a you have had a very interesting month, right? Yeah, very interesting. It's well, yeah, but yeah, but big box deserve it, you know. Yeah, right. Of course, yes. <laughs> more work, but not more money, teacher. Yeah, making all those big boxes worth it. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> no more extra money. That's no good. That's no good. Yeah, well, remember you need you need to rest one of once in a while. I I I, I need a, a new job, teacher. <laughs> okay, Shanira, we will talk later. Okay. okay. I'll, let, I'll let you finish, but we will talk later. Okay. Yes, of course, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Maria Alejandra. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Maria Alejandra. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I feel tired, but and my boss changed. I mean, what can be on? Oh, really? Oh, well, it's poverty. You know, when you wish poverty, <laughs> it's normal. Tomorrow you're going to be talking like, 
deeper, a darker voice, you know. <laughs> yes, because that actually I happens. <laughs> and only that I have a I feel that tonight is very cold and the weather is crazy <laughs> but I feel good. Well, I don't feel that cold tonight. Yesterday was colder. Mm, yes, uh, maybe I think that yesterday had a lot of. Um, it was. Uh, wind is. Uh, wind. It? Uh -huh, it was windier. Uh -huh, it was wind. It was windier. And today, not, but I feel cold. Oh, really? Well, you know, after I talk to you, I will talk to Frank. He's in Chalate. Yesterday he told me they were uh, how how many how many degrees were there, Frank? Hello, teacher. Yesterday yesterday was about seven degrees. Now it's about nine degrees. Okay. Thank you, Frank. You see where he is right now? It's cold. <laughs> Compare the Billman and it's hot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you are right now, compared to where he is right now, you are sweating, my dear. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know, I would love to switch place with him. I like it cold. Mm, yes. I to, be on, it. to be honest with you, uh, last night, as soon as the class finished, I took off my shirt, just in short, and I was cool. I <laughs> love it. Okay, it's good. Yeah, uh, and actually, my, my this room that I got uh, is facing the patio. I mean, all the wind comes in, but like tonight for me, it's it's not cold. Yes, it's not cold. I remember, but I don't know why the where the weather in the morning is very cold and windy. And then gets warm. Uh-huh. Then and gets I cold know. again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's beautiful, you know, it's El Salvador. Here everything's crazy. <laughs> yes, you have the reason. Okay, Maria Alejandra, welcome. Thank you for being here. Let's see, I still got some minutes. Let me see, Ambar, hello, Ambar. Ambar, am I mistaken or you're on vacation? Sorry, teacher, no. Uh, my vacation is uh, the next week. The next, next week. Next week, okay. Yes. Okay, so how are we doing with the sales? Did we reach the goal already? Yes, uh, today I I could reach my goal. Um, oh, great. So that means that you're going to be like satisfied. Yes, uh, the, my next sale is profit for me. Excellent. That's cool. Yes, thank you, teacher. What about you? Yeah. How was your day? My day, let's see. Ah, man, today, today was, uh, you know, Today was just routine, to be honest with you. Nothing special, let's see. No, not really. Nothing special. I mean, today was pretty, pretty, pretty much routine. So, I mean, what can we do? Let's in see, perhaps case, tomorrow we will have something more interesting. Yeah, tell me. In, in my case, my day uh, actually was very busy because I I have a uh, many clients to attend and well uh, thanks God I I I could uh, complete my my sales a uh, pending sale. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, of course, that's cool because I mean you are like you are less stressed, right? Yes, uh, uh, I I have 
three days more to the to generate work. extra income. Yes, yes, I I hope tomorrow. Uh, I hope tomorrow uh, have. Gets How better. do you say? So, tener más ventas, no sé. I hope tomorrow I can. Um, okay, uh, there's a word for this. Let me text it for you. Oh, I don't know what I was doing. Okay, in this case, the word you are looking is this. Look, uh, I hope tomorrow I can place. Oops, my bad. Miss place, place like this. I hope place. tomorrow I can place more insurance. That's nice. I hope tomorrow I can place more insurance. Yeah, place in this case means colocar. Okay. Amber, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Now, let's see. Francisco, my friend, where are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello teacher. Where are you tonight? Tell me. Uh, a little tired, teacher, because uh, uh, is uh, uh, I uh, I'm a Sunday teacher. <laughs> oh really? Yes. Uh, tomorrow I wake up to three a.m. because uh, I I went to live uh, to my uncle um, um, Ipor, and I and. She has the flight to 8 a.m. Uh, but the, the 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 big 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 problem was she she lost the the flight issue. <laughs> lost. She lost she lost the flight. Oh. So uh, we talking. Uh, with the the fly company, and they change the, the the fly to to six p.m. and and just uh, uh, come to home. Uh, oh, you just arrived home? Yes, teacher, you just arrived. And, and you have uh, gone to the airport twice today. No, teacher. Uh, uh, we uh, stayed in, in San Salvador because the uh, uh, how do you say regresar, teacher? Come back. Coming back. Coming back. Oh yeah, because coming back was gonna be pretty hard for you, right? Yes, very, very hard to share. <laughs> so we we think uh, the the better it uh, uh, was uh, wait in San Salvador. Yeah, I understand. You understand. So it uh, was a a, a, a long day <laughs> in San Salvador. <laughs> but I the day important that the I I stay in home in this moment <laughs> okay so today was your a day off for you yes the, the, today uh, is my last day off uh, tomorrow i uh, i uh, you start I have chief point. yes teacher but the, which the, one the, you the gonna get? Teacher. sorry teacher which one are you gonna get morning afternoon night uh, uh my 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 own uh, shift is in the morning but uh, uh, today uh, he uh, what do you say I, I receive a call to my boss and, and tell me uh, 
we uh, they, he need a uh, change the shift. So I I am going work to the afternoon. For me, okay. for me, it's better because yeah, I can imagine I, you're I gonna to, rest. Yes, teacher. Well. <laughs> okay, I was notified by my boss. Okay. Ah, okay, teacher. I was notified. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. That's cool. Excellent. Thank you very much, Francisco, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. I could have sworn I saw Wilfredo Guardado. Hello, mister. Hi, teacher. How are, How are you? you? I'm just fine, just fine. What about you? How's everything? Oh, I'm just fine, too. Uh, not really. Well, here at home. Okay, yeah. How I, do you I'm... work? Mm, yes, yes, so far because uh, today we have to 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 run run every day because all day we long. Have, all day long. All day long. Yeah. Uh, Todo el día, you mean, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that would be ah, okay. All day long. Yes, but let me write it because I. You can say I, uh, all day long, or you can say the whole day. All day long. Long. Um, okay. Yes. Yesterday, I was talking with you about the the problem that we have about some material. Yeah, with the material, but, right? Yes, but today um, all the production for um, work in this color that we didn't have yesterday, the last week, sorry. Mm -hmm. Then we have enough material to work so hard with the people, but we achieve the, the goal, the budget for this day. That's nice. And Yes, but it is nice because the people are working and, and it is it is um, it is the best than the that when we have lack of some good to, material, to work. Yes, of yes. course, of course. Sure. I mean we yeah we we when we have about material we use the um, this word lack of song. Yeah, lack of it is sound, sound good. Is e w n good? Is sound good? S e w n. Is sound good? M. You say S e w m. Yes. It is, it is when, when if, if you talk about, um, uh, it's like a material. Interesting. Yes. Because sometimes we have, we, 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 um, uh, a menudo, how often, often. Yeah, often you often, can say often. Yes. Often we use a lack, lack of song, lack of material, lack of, um, for example, um, hilo. I don't remember. Trail. Trail. Yes. Yes. Lack of trail when when the um, when proveedor provider buyer. Uh, yes. 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 When the buyer don't have enough material to send send us, ah, sometimes we have to stop the produce. Then this is another problem for for us in packaging department. Okay. But so now it was good. It was so good. So glad to hear it, Wilfredo. Welcome. Welcome to teacher. Yeah. 
I need to go to buy something with my oldest kids. Just let kids. me know when you yes. come back, okay? Yes, no, I am going to hear by, by cell phone because I am going to okay, go driving. Perfect. Yes, okay, perfect, perfect. thank you. Okay, Okay, guys. Now, welcome everyone. Uh, Daniel, Erwin, uh, Jose Osorio, Walter, Susana, the ones who I couldn't talk to right now, but we need to jump to the next activity. Okay, now, the first topic is right there in the chat, the survival of the fittest. How important are survival skills in our society? Does the term survival of the fittest still apply? What do you think about it? It's a pretty interesting topic. Perhaps uh, the sense or the main idea we express with these expressions has changed. What do you think about it? I would like to hear your opinion. So I'm gonna be jumping from group to group, checking out what you think about this topic just let me uh, do little something right here okay this is fine this is fine okay guys groups are created please jump in Let's check the groups. Okay. Make a small elevation. It is. Okay, well, uh -huh. thank you, Erwin. Uh, how important are survival skills in our society? I don't know if you want to start. Well, um, I think that the, the people doesn't have enough uh, abilities if they need to, to survive. And to survive in other con context. But if you want to just live and or survive uh, just eating and take uh, having a, 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 a little house or something like that, being maybe um, what's the word? Uh, uh, no, nah, I, I don't have the exactly word, but uh, siendo conformista. What's the word, teacher? Okay. You mean siendo conformista? It's just that ah, we don't express the idea in the same way. Uh, we could say perhaps, uh, we can say conformist. But... Okay, be, being conformist. Mm, yeah, I mean okay. that's... Uh, <clears throat> but if you want to, uh, 
my my ideas about the the survive <clears throat> it's maybe if you need to eat and maybe in a in an island and you ah, need to okay. Got it. go Got to it. The, the the coconut plant or coconut, <laughs> coconut water grow. Uh -huh. and make a uh, coconut oil yeah. and uh, uh, fish your feet. I got uh, it. So I got this it. is for me. This is the idea. Yes, I found the word and it's more Since qualified. It is the, uh -huh. Yeah, if you, mm -hmm. if you get more knowledge. You will you will be more qualified, and by that way you will uh, we you will be able to to earn uh, maybe money or, or things like that. I think, for example, you have already a job mm -hmm. that you are studying English, and that's why it, it, it is going to apply the survival of the fittest. I think. Mm -hmm. And the only way to stand out and be able to be competent. Yes. Okay. What else? This is how important. And the, the other thing was uh, how important <laughs> are the skills? Oh my God. Yeah. I think that, for example, in the past, the the people must need, for example, these skills to survive. But right now, I think that maybe it's not about the skills, about the most strong, no, the strongest or something like that. Maybe there are skills that we, I don't know, how can I say that? The skills that we need to survive right now are kind of the, to be intelligent in some area or something like that. I don't know, how do you say about that? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Susana Amber. Yeah. <laughs> it's a difficult teacher. <laughs> but if, uh, for me, it's a thing, uh, but it's a sorry, survivor. Do people survive? Like ready to the opportunities, or if you are not ready. To, to reach your goals, maybe someone else will, will do it for you or will, will have the, the opportunity to reach the, the things that you want to. So I think it's very natural thing. I mean, we can see in the animals too, in the, in the wildlife. A puntual, and punctual. Punctual. Okay, thank you, teacher. And managers is uh, always, always uh, they will look for uh, and punctual and honesty and they uh, and they always uh, they always they will look always always uh,
Okay, okay, let's just give a few seconds to your classmates to come back. Okay, let's see. Erwin. Hello, Erwin. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Tell me, Erwin, what do you think? Uh, the survival of fetus. Is it important? Does it still uh, apply? Yes, yes. I, I think that we need to, to have a lot of uh, abilities in order to survive. Skills or abilities, uh, because if you talk about fit, it's uh, we are talking about abilities too, yeah, and sure. skills. But, and uh, but you have mental skills and social physical. skills, uh, physical skills. So it's a little difficult to understand completely the the question. But if you are talking about physical skills and uh, the modern uh, people, the youngest people, they don't have enough uh, physical skills. Uh, mental skills, I'm not sure too, <laughs> but I don't know. It's um, a little confused, but it, it's necessary uh, to obtain uh, many skills in order to survive in many situations. Okay, well, yeah, I understand you. Thank you very much. Let's see, um, Rebecca, what do you think? Stephanie? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. What can I say about this stuff? Well, I we were trying kind of the to explain this activity because it was kind of a little bit difficult to ask to no to say what we think about it. But for example, for me, uh, in this time. And maybe for the people it's not so important to know these kind of things, what kind of things, for example, hiking and stuff like that, like the life surviving. But right now I think maybe the people is more comfortable with their life and they think that they don't need to have these skills to survive. But we have another kind of skill that we use uh, on these days, for example, learn something new and to be intelligent in some area or something like that. It's not like that, I don't know, how can I say, refrain? Saying? Like I saying that the surviving the most is stronger. Right now it's kind of the the most intelligent, the most developed in some area is the surviving, something like that. I don't know if I okay, explain. Perfect. perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, it was interesting. Now, what will happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reaches its maximum capacity? Hmm, that's interesting. How would uh, they? I'm sorry, there's a typo there. How will they avoid overcrowding in a warehouse? What do you think? What uh, ideas would you, or what would you recommend for a company if they are facing this situation? Imagine that you are giving the company advice in this situation. Three minutes for you to work in groups. Prepare one suggestion at least, please. Well explained, because I'm gonna ask a couple of you about it. 
Jump in, please. The, the warehouse uh, reached its maximum capacity. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you know why they are? No, in this the area? reasons are not expected. So, for that reason, and my opinion will be to open a new branch. Okay. My, I don't know why would be your suggestion. Yeah, it's a good. You're gonna say higher. <laughs> ¿Cómo es? Eh, ay, despedir siempre lo. Teacher, despedir Bye. siempre. I always confuse. Higher is to hire something is eh, emplearlo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. But to fire. Someone? Fire. 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 Fire oh, to, to, to let go people. Exactly. Employees. Always. You can say fire with... or you can say let go. Let go. Okay. But in this case, here we, we cannot say that we need people to, to take go. No. <laughs> it's to avoid the overcrowding, la sobrepoblación, ¿verdad, teacher? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but what we are talking is that the warehouse is full. Mm hmm. Okay, uh, a good idea is maybe to uh, to to consider uh, maybe a three PL third a third party a third party logistics, logistics. yeah and, and you could and they, and they could uh, help. In this situation, maybe. That's right. That's yeah. a good idea. What about what about renting extra space? It's another good idea too. But maybe it's a logistics problem too. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And maybe it, it can solve or could solve uh, hiring more people. But um, I don't know. There is a a lot of reasons and a lot of solutions too. Mm -hmm. We need we need to know more about this company and okay, why we, are they overcoming? We will. We will. <laughs>
Okay, let's see, everybody's coming right about now. Perfect. Okay, let's see. I want to hear Mr. Osorio. Is he around? Hmm, he's in the limbo right now. Oh, there he is. Mr. Osorio, hello. Good evening, teacher. Okay, tell me, tell me, what what do you suggest? What's your opinion? Uh, depends the what uh, the activity of the warehouse. If the warehouse is related to uh, industry, uh, maybe I readjust the schedule to entry of inventory at the same rate as the consumption of the production floor okay. uh, because uh, rent another warehouse or more space is expensive interesting mm -hmm. right interesting thank you very much okay let's see and Frank, tell me, what's your idea? What you got? Okay, uh, my opinion maybe first, the first, first of all, the warehouse have to to stop the entry of more of more mer emergency emergency or products merchandise merchandise sorry, and then maybe reorganize. The schedule, as Jose said, we organize the schedule of of the moving uh, the, of the products, and maybe try to to find more space to to allocate the products. Locate the product, yes. Perfect. Excellent. 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 Uh, okay, let's see. And this is the word that I said. Look, allocate. Well, 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 well. Interesting, guys. We were talking about this because we are going to start working again with the manual. We are going to be working in page number uh, 25. You got your manual handy. If not, I'm going to share it with you guys. Just let me get this as it should be perfect. Okay. Here we go. We got us the conversation and the conversation goes like this, okay? Well, first let's analyze the situation. Rose and Matt are discussing storage problems they are facing at the warehouse where they hold their shipments. Read and practice the conversation. Okay, guys, let's see. It goes, let me just send you the picture. There you go. And the conversation goes like this. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. 
I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. I repeat. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. There is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Okay, guys. Now let's see, we're going to practice the conversation working in pairs. Okay. Let's see, let me just check a little something here on the groups. Just a second. Just a second, just a second, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. It said, sir, we just received a call from a warehouse the last ship shipment arrived today in the end. It seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource the shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. I start again. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. 
The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. And that is very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left. Lie, mm, lie anywhere. Can they arrange for the transport transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the document ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes first. Okay. You want to start again? Sure. We just received a call from the warehouse. Receive. Uh, receive. Receive. Uh, a call from the warehouse. If they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? <laughs> Hello. We came back to the for the rooms <laughs> to the general class. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, I'm sorry. No worry, that happens. No problem, no problem. That happens. Okay. Let's see, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ana Claudia and Rebecca. Ana Claudia, you start. Okay. Um... Just give me one moment. <laughs> okay, I'm reopening the conversation. Uh, sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived just arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That's a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange? for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the pearls come first. Okay, perfect, thank you. Maria Alejandra and Billman. Frank. Maria Alejandra, you okay. start. Oh, okay. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it is him. They don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if the if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource the shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes first. Okay. Uh, Maria Alejandra, warehouse. Warehouse. And Frank, documents. 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 Okay. Jose Osorio, you ready, mister? Yes, teacher. I'm ready. Okay. You and Stephanie, you will start. Stephanie? Okay. Sir. Okay, sir. We just I received a call from the warehouse. <laughs> sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived to that today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will damage 
if they are left lying anywhere? Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will, I will get the documents ready to our search the shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Okay, perfect. Amber and Susana, Amber, you start, please. Okay, give me one second. Sure, no problem. Okay, sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the document ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is the costly, but the products come first. It is costly. It is costly. It's costly. Okay, thank you. Erwin and Francisco. Uh, Francisco, you'll start. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our product. That's, uh, that is a very expensive shipment. Our products will be will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Uh, can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It, it's costly, but the products come first. Okay, thank you. Marcela and Walter. Okay, Walter, you'll start. <clears throat> See, did you receive a call from the warehouse? The last shipment arrived today. Young, it seems they don't have some more expensive to store our product. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment a different warehouse? Yes, sir. And they ask and if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this, this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Jose Wilfredo and Nicolas. And Nicolas, you'll start. Sir, we used to receive a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we call use. 
I will get the documents ready to the outsource this treatment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Okay, perfect. Nicholas, receive, receive. Re receive, receive. Yes. Thank perfect. you. Perfect. Thanks to you. Okay, guys, now, now, now we are going to talk about vocabulary. Okay, let's analyze a little bit about vocabulary. Let me share with you. We go, we'll go again to Insafor Panel. And we're going to be working on page number 26. Exercise number four building vocabulary. You will have to read the definitions below and match the examples to the corresponding term. Okay, A. Warehouse management is the control of the day to day operations of a warehouse such as the shipping, receiving, put away, and picking of goods. Look, warehouse management, the control of the day-to-day -day operations of the warehouse. Now, is it the same as stock control? Okay, let's hear who's gonna help me. Uh, Ana Claudia, please read letter B. Okay, stock control is a way to maximize profit by getting inventory right and warehouse management is a way to maximize the efficiency and eff effectiveness of warehouse operations. Okay, now we have two examples here. Uh, let's see. Jose Wilfredo, please read the first example. The, my favorite teacher is loading. Example A, warehouse management. No, no, no. A little bit down. It tells uh, you. Such, a, such as a shipping. Mm, 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 that one, mm, or, or no, which no. one? Oh, you're not watching my screen, right? Uh, right now, yes, but. Okay, the that. one that I have here. Uh, with a different color. We uh -huh. are yeah, I saw low that. stock control. Okay. It okay. tells you it tells you where the items are in and the order in which they need to be picked. 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 Pick. Remember, Mr. That E D after the letter K is pronounced as a T. Picked. picked. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Thank let's you. see, uh, uh, um, Stephanie, please read the next one. It means you know how many of a particular product you have and when you have and when to order more. Particular, particular. Particular. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see. It tells you where the items are in and the order in which they need to be picked. What is that? Warehouse management or stock control? It means you know how many of a particular product you have and when to order more. What is it? Warehouse management or stock control? Okay, we will do this exercise, but in order to improve time, we will also do exercise number five, okay? Building vocabulary. The following are basic types of warehouse. Match the type of warehouse into its definition. So we got holding warehouse, distribution center, and cross docking center. Okay, it can be named a terminal or sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little to no storage. Traditional warehouse whose space is used for temporal and long term storage. It serves larger regions and goods are stored shorter time. Most of it is used for picking and consolidation orders. Okay, guys, so those two exercises are the ones that you are going to be working in small groups. But before anything else, so everybody can get it, like without problems, I'll send you to your, to the group right now, the picture. You got a screenshot of it. And let's see, we're gonna go work. Oh, before we move on, guys, I need to get the attendance. I'm sorry. Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. 
Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. José Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher, excuse me. No problem. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Marcela Noemí Batres Montarrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys. Oops. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. Five minutes. Both exercises, remember. Amber. Hello. <laughs> I think you I are not here. I love you guys. I just love you. You are like, hi, hello. Very quiet. No, sorry. I I I haven't heard her. Okay. Amber is like pretty calm. Sorry. Hey, well. In name, a terminal sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and many. Uh, uh, number eight, the warehouse management is the control of the day-to-day -day operation of a warehouse, such, mm -hmm. such as the shipping receive put away and picking of glue. Uh, We have to pick uh, the correct definition of the statement that are in the exercise. From the statement, from the statement. The uh, statement. Teacher, could, could you send the, the picture uh, for the exercise for please? Because I'm working, I'm connecting since my uh, mobile device. So 
I couldn't load the, the manual. Okay, well, hold on. But I think that I think that the, that the first one. There you go. Thank you. Okay, thank you, teacher. I think okay, so let's read the definition below. The match examples of corresponding term. Uh, warehouse management is a point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And stock control is a way to manage profit by getting. Remember, the first one is maybe is warehouse management. What do you think? I think the the, the number A is the is the the first first one. Yes, uh, it tells you where the items are. Yeah, the first one is is warehouse management. Yes, and the second one is, is a stock control. Stock control, stock obviously. Control. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the exercise number five. Five. Mm -hmm. The following. Yeah, following the... Mm -hmm. Continue. Continue. Can we name it? The following are basic types of warehouse. Match the type of warehousing to its definition. Okay. For the number one, holding warehouse. Holding. Mm -hmm. For me, the first one is holding warehouse. What about the other definition? Warehouse management. Lemon in pink, a pink lemon. <laughs> pink lemon, my God. <laughs> Can you sleep after that? Mm, I don't know. Because... Is the first time you're drinking that too late? Mm, because my sister uh, ordered a food. <laughs> oh, and uh, I ordered a uh, a different daughter because I don't know. In this moment, I prefer drink. Ah, okay. You wanted to to, to try to taste it. Uh huh. And the problem is, I eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you eat a lot. Uh huh. Is the reason when I uh, I don't think you could sleep uh -huh. early today. <laughs> but I try. <laughs> My God. And the other reason is uh, the Sunday uh, do, did a new piercing in my left ear. A new what? A new piercing. Ah. <laughs> ah, come on. And Does my that hurt? pain. Yes. Wow. That, that doesn't because... hurt. Oh. <laughs> How many piercings do you have this year? How you can assure that doesn't hurt? Well, nowadays I do you have piercing? Because, nowadays I ain't got none because they close with the fast of time. But <laughs> did the, you the ones the ones that hurt? The most are the ones in the nipples. Nipples, nipples, remember nipples? On your chest. Oh, really? Yeah, those hurt. Believe me. They <laughs> oh, hurt. I remember that you told us that you had a crazy youngest <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah, I don't I... imagine you. As a hero, yeah. huh? and and you know, Maria Alejandra, you don't know what pain is until you get a tattoo. Ah, uh, no, but I don't like the tattoo. That's that's nice. <laughs> but the thing those, is... things, those things hurt. <laughs> My god, no. I don't remember uh, the pain for the new piercing because. When I did, 
uh, the, my previous version. I don't know. Maybe I pass a lot of time. <laughs> but I have four in one year. <laughs> four. Yes. My God. <laughs> well, uh, I have a friend. He's like, uh, let's see, I am 42. He's 48. Mm -hmm. Let's see, he's got, let me see, he's got one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten piercings. No, come on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and some other stuff that I cannot tell because Maria Alejandra is on the rage. <laughs> Let's okay. leave it like that. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. And it's, well, uh, remember, it's also a matter of culture. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, cultural influence is a big influence because, uh, I mean, nowadays everybody's getting tattoos. Mm -hmm. It's quite yes. common. But, but I have a friend of mine that he <laughs> has a piercing on his, on his ear, ear, no, ear, on his ear. Mm -hmm. Some people is like not accepting. They think that maybe he is not a real mate, like a macho man. They think he's gay, but uh, no, he's not. <laughs> and it looks so nice because it's, it's tiny, so beautiful. And it's just one. That doesn't mean anything. I mean. Well, you know, which one I, I find the kind of pretty, pretty attractive? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, they look very like, good. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> they for, look. Me, for, me, for me, that's hot. <laughs> oh, but they look very nice. You're right. They look good. Me, awesome. That's, yeah. that's attractive. I like it. <laughs> eh, you know, everybody's got its quirks. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, let's go to the main room. Okay. Thank okay. you, teacher. Teacher, sorry, what is the activity? I don't understand. I need a read, read a, for understand me. For understand we will do I. it here. We will do it here. Don't worry. Okay, teacher. Let's see when everybody's coming back in a few seconds. Okay, guys, let's see. Hmm. Oh, there's Wilfredo, he's back. Let's do the exercise together. Here we go. Now, it tells you where the items are and the order in which they need to be picked. What is that? Warehouse management or stock control? Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see who's gonna help me with this. Hmm. Marcela, tell me, which one is it? It tells you where the items are in and the order in which they need to be picked. Is it a stock control or warehouse management? I think a stock control. And what about, it means you know how many of a particular product you have and when to order more. Warehouse management. 
Okay. Well, my dear, exactly the other way around. Okay. Warehouse management, it tells you where the items are in and the order in which they need to be picked. Why? Oh, because remember, it's the control of the day-to-day -day operations. Now, stock control is a way to maximize profit by getting inventory right. What is that? Oh, you know how many of a particular product you have and when to order more, okay? Let's continue to exercise number five. Let's see. Jose Wilfredo Chala, tell me what is holding warehouse? Holding warehouse is um, um let me say traditional warehouse whose space is used for temporary and long-term storage. Okay, you say that this is, oops, my bad. So holding warehouse, traditional warehouse, whose space is used for temporal and long-term storage. Perfect, thank you. Now okay, let's well. see. Hmm. Roxana, you got distribution center. Okay, uh, for me, it, it serves large regions and good are stored shorter time. Most of, most of it is used for picking and consolidation orders. Okay, perfect. Just remember, Roxana, it serves, it serves. Okay, thank you. Okay, and now please, the last one, uh, let's see who's gonna read it for us. Okay, let's see. Maria Alejandra, please, Cross Docking Center, read it. Cross Docking Center is can be named a terminal or sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and receiving, and receiving and shipping activities with little to no storage. Storage, storage, with little to no storage. The difference here, uh, Maria Alejandra, is that you stress and must be soft, with little to no storage, okay? okay. Perfect, guys, excellent. Now, we go back to our conversation part. So we're gonna be talking. Now we are going to go from earth. Do you remember we were like talking about the fetus and survival? Okay, now we are going to leave this common planet. And I got a different question for you. I need you to think about. Uh, do you agree or do you support? that governments, countries, or companies nowadays invest large amounts of money into space exploration? What's your opinion on it? You will have just three minutes to discuss this topic. Please jump into the groups. I'm gonna be asking.
Hello, Marta. Mister, I'm going to send you to another group. He kick you out. Hi, Wilfredo. Marta, what's you doing here? I, I'm sorry, I'm not available for this moment. Okay, no problem, no problem. Understand you. Never mind. Teacher. Oh, guys, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Marcela, I'm so sorry I couldn't get back to you today. But tomorrow I will, for sure, okay? My, my deepest apologies. It's just that I had a kind of hectic day. But remind me tomorrow around noon, please. All right. Around noon. Okay, okay. I will do. They have resources and the a lot of money and technology. Yes, and another um, situation is the economy. Economy for each person, because, uh, for example, if you are reading uh, something about the Luna, how do you say Luna? Moon. 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 I, I remember that the last time I was reading something that says that people uh, are looking for a um, space to live in in the moon. So in our country, I think that maybe the more the most part of us don't have enough money to to spend in that maybe some people can pay for that but i think that i think the thing is more than um studies time it's about a uh, do a priority, no, no, identify the real priorities. Identify. Identify, identify the real uh, priorities. Yes. So I... Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Yes. Uh, I think that Francisco is, is here, right? Yeah, Francisco, what about you? Just give me, give me a second. Just give me a second. Okay. Ah, okay. So, but as we said, I think uh, for the sciences, it's important. So that's what I think that the government has to, to verify if that will help us at the future uh, to improve something. They can continue do uh, those trips. Yes, yes. Yeah. and those trips. Yeah. Because I know that are really expensive. Yes, I hear about it and I think are, the, are very expensive. Yeah, yes. that's right. But well, uh, I don't so know right. the name. Okay, uh, tell us. Uh, you can uh, repeat me the the question, please, friends. What do you think about the travels to the other planet, to other planets, and if you are, are agree? with those kind of investments from the companies or governments, something like that. Sorry, I don't, I don't understand the, the, the question, Frank. Uh,
Okay, let's see, everybody's coming back in. Five, four, three, right about now. Okay, let's see. Do you support investing large amounts of money into space exploration, Nuria? What's your opinion? Tell me. I'm sorry, teacher. Could you repeat that question, please? Do you support investing large amounts of money into space exploration? Into space exploration? Maybe not, teacher. <laughs> I don't know. Why not? Because Do you think I... companies or governments should invest it somewhere else? Not exactly. It depends because if I don't know about the an specific, uh, algún area, a specific area. If I don't know, maybe I, I could invest, teacher. Okay. I, I, maybe, maybe. Uh, okay, I get it. I get it. So you don't feel like able to give a, a, an exact opinion. Hmm. That's in my case, Isha, I need I need to know, or I need, need to have a, a lot of information, a lot of information, a lot of information to decide if I can invest because I'm an accountant, teacher. I have studied financial uh, studies, and first I need to know if the investment would be I get if I if the invest will give me a return. Okay, cool. Interesting, that's interesting. Thank you very much. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, guys, now that was a quite unexpected approach for me, but cool, interesting. Now I got a different question for you guys. Now we're coming back from the space to exactly to El Salvador. Why? Okay, the next activity, this is going to be fun. What are the best places to visit in your city, town, or country? Okay, I need you in your as groups to get me at least three. Okay, three places. You will discuss and decide on three of them. You will have five minutes. Let's jump in. I'll be going from group to group. Okay. Country, town, 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 town. Okay. Yeah, town. that means pueblo. Thank you. Okay, and for Ilustre, no Walter. Oh Would yeah, you Walter, that, you know. Yeah. Would you tell us, please? <laughs> okay. 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 And the people, I can, I can give them uh, my city and my city. Uh, there are uh, restaurant goods, for example, and pupusas. <laughs> hey, teacher. <laughs> ya sé que bueno. Okay. No your, favorite, your, favorite, your favorite food. Oh, yeah, Salvador. your favorite. It's the, it's the, it's the best. <laughs> y, it's the city is the best pupusas. And Pupusas and Kiaya and Sirio Lopilta, and number one. And the Pupusa and beat and beat the con <clears throat> the Pupusas, uh, the beat, uh, the more beat the country. <laughs> La más grande del país. <clears throat> Aquí se hace. Biggest, biggest. Uh, biggest, excuse me. Okay. Where okay. did you eat the biggest, the biggest. pupusa in El Salvador? Uh, excuse me? Where, do, where did you eat this pupusa? Ah. Well, for me, it's the, 
chicken. <laughs> Where? Donde? There Where? in the Locuita. Ah, he lives in ah, Locuita. Ah, yes, the Locuita. All oh, my friends. Son las mejores. Are the best. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, everyone says they go if you want to hey, a I'm very hungry. good food, go to a local. <laughs> sure. Is the good, is the city of Lupita, is a comfort, is a, a all the people, um, and all the people are, are respect. Hey, Walter. Excuse me. The last year with my wife, we were selling pupusa sometimes. <laughs> and I prepared uh, all ingredients. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. yes. yes. But when, when I, when I help to the um, Miss Senora teacher, how do you say? Missing. When I help in the church to prepare ingredients, at church, I always at church. at church at church. When I help at church to the people when they are preparing for ingredients for pupusas, all day I I watch I I was watching how they. How do they do it? Then, mm, uh, sometimes my wife told me, "Hey, um, do you do you want to try if we sell pupusa here in our house?" But it's delicious. It's very, very delicious. It's other what, what, other what, place. Who, where? In Jardín de Celeste, located near to Ataco. Mm. Really? They, yeah, they yeah. have mentioned that place to me. I actually haven't. I have just passed by. Yeah, it's a easy teacher, but I, I was thinking, I was telling our uh, partners that the prices are expensive. I are okay, higher. Then, then I'm not going. Not for <laughs> Why teacher? Because they are expensive. No, but sometimes is I like it to taste some restaurants. If you don't like it, if you don't like the price, the prices, if you don't like the flavor or see the sabor or the taste yeah. of the food, maybe you won't back never again. But sometimes it's very interesting to go uh, to one restaurant that you have never been there. Yeah. I love, I, I, in my case, I love that restaurant. I love it. Okay, what did Erwin sell? Which one did he like? The flavor of the Which food? places, which places did he like? Erwin? Well, if, I, if, if we talk about our country, well, we have a lot of beautiful places, but uh, some of my favorites are uh, El Pital, uh, well, La Palma, El Pital, San Ignacio. Uh, just uh, for me, it's only one place, all this area. Uh, La Peña de Cayahuanca and all other attractions in this area. Um, another way, maybe the beaches of the West no, the, the east part of El Salvador, um, talking about Las Flores and El Tunco, en, en El Cuco, yeah. in, in San Miguel. And it's beautiful. Maybe, nice. um, maybe Huayua, the best of the Ruta de las Flores, uh, because of uh, a lot of attractions too. Yeah, I'm looking for a place to go and stay at El Cuco. Are there? I have just a lot of the day. Yeah, well, yeah, because I'm looking for a place to stay, to stay over, to spend the night. Yes, there are a lot of uh, hotels, hostels, and many things. And 
there, there are a lot of places in that you, how do you say pernoctar in English? I don't know. I have never used it like that because I mean, whenever I use, I just say in, in a, stay in over. In Spanish, it's to, to stay over, maybe. Uh -huh. In Spanish, it's pe pernoctar. Yeah, pasar no. la noche en otro. Yeah, but yeah, in English, is spend the night. Actually, we don't have a a specific word for that in English. Okay. Or yeah, the closest would be perhaps stop over. Spend the night or stop over. Stop over is colloquial. Okay. Uh -huh. But not a specific that term in English, no. As far as I know, we don't have an expression for that. A specific word. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the main rule. Okay. No worry, no I need you to stay after the class, please. I'm sorry. I couldn't I couldn't jump to the to the room. Oh. You should have given me a holler, Jose Wilfredo. <laughs> no, Noria, I was telling you that, can you stay over for a few minutes after the class, please? Yes, teacher. Yes, of Excellent. course. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm not going to ask who. Let's see, we still got one or two minutes. Okay, let's see. Nicholas, you've been pretty quiet. Tell me, Nicholas. Uh, tell me, what are what do you think are the best places to visit? Um, I don't know, perhaps in your city or in this country. Mention at least two, please. In San Salvador, for example, I pref I, I I think it's very interesting visit uh, to visit. Uh, in center of San Salvador, uh, the church, downtown, downtown. Da uh, yes, downtown, uh, uh, specifically the El Rosario Church, uh, okay. cathedral, uh, cathedral. The theater, uh, cathedral, cathedral, oh, cathedral. the theater, yeah, beautiful, the theater for, for and the and the different coffees, uh, coffees with uh, places where do you drink coffee or beer in the night, preferably? Excellent, thank you. Now, let's see if Francisco tell me about your city, your town. Oops, perhaps Francisco. No teacher. Hey, tell me, what places do you recommend there where you live? Uh, well, teacher, I, I uh, talking with uh, Frank that for me the the, the fishing in Agahutra is not very good, but it's my opinion. But the, the uh, there are uh, uh, many uh, uh, some restaurant. Uh, uh, the most famous is uh, Nakahutla restaurant, and the other oh, yeah. is uh, Mara. The, the food is, is, is very good in, in, in their places, this year. Okay, perfect, thank you. Famous, famous, Francisco. Famous, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, guys, well, it's been fun. We did actually a lot. And for tomorrow, remember, we're gonna be working and the manual again, we got another conversation. It's going to be quite interesting. We are going to be speaking a lot tomorrow because we are going to be speaking, using the conversation from the manual and then having conversations, okay? Now, before we finish, 
please let me get the final attendance. And again, I still remind you guys, there's just a couple of you actually who have not finished the job in the platform. Let's do it. We need to finish it. Okay. I'm Barely Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Sagrada Valencia. Present teacher. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portilla. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Parlera. Present teacher. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Sal Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Jenny Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Okay, guys, it's been a pleasure. Have a good night. Enjoy it. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye, Nicholas. Nuria, hello, how are you? Hola, teacher. Super cansada, teacher. I can imagine, I can imagine. Heavy days at work, right? Sí, es que estamos en una capacitación regional. Entonces, yo soy parte de las ponentes. How many people do you have? No, es que realmente somos varias personas. No, no. Somos... How many people are you are you training? Twenty one. Oh, yeah. It's an interesting group. Yeah, but there are two more, three more people training. Even doing the... the training. Yeah, doing the training. Yeah. Yeah, but it's heavy, I imagine. Yeah, actually, I'm very, very tired. Yeah, because I mean, you gotta be more active. You gotta make people work, and you gotta, I mean, you have to be like cheerful of the time. And sometimes you feel inside like, oh man, I'm so tired. Yeah, and the free time, I have to be, I have to make my job. Oh, yeah, that's no good. I take, okay. I have to take some phone calls from El Salvador. Okay, that's so bad. That's so bad. Look. I'm gonna make it short for you. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. I need you to uh, something that is going to help you. Okay. You're working on the platform, right? Can you see it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have work. Okay. Come here down to the centro de ayuda. If you come to the centro de ayuda, you will find uh -huh. this. If you come all the way down, you will find recursos académicos. There's uh -huh. grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, video conferences. First, I need you to go into grammar. When you get into grammar, get into intermediate grammar. Okay? Uh -huh. Here, I need you to do, please, number 10. Check out number 10 and 9 and 10. Please. Okay? That's going I, to be. I, I didn't. I, I didn't get it to her. That. Okay. 
You didn't get the path? Let no, me explain no, it the, for the, you again. The, the last one. The last one. Okay. We, have, we have to do. You come to Centro de Ayuda. Uh -huh. Grammar. Uh -huh. Intermediate grammar presentations. Uh -huh. I need you to do to check out number nine and number 10. Jeron, subject and object, and infinitives after certain verbs. Ah, okay. Uh, now uh -huh. Same. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, believe me, if you do it, that's going to be very helpful. It's going to help you a lot. Because I need to, I need to prepare a presentation, teacher. No, 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 my dear. This is this is a little bit uh, extra that I'm giving you so you can improve your English. Ah, okay. okay. I mean, uh, always, whenever I got courses, I got groups, uh, we always uh, identify some areas where perhaps specifically one person could work more, get better, right? I understand it. I got it. Yeah. So I would like you to to work on that one, and believe me, it's going to help you. Okay, teacher. I will download those files. Okay. And now, when are you coming back? The this Saturday. This Saturday. Okay. I need you to next Monday. Remind me that I will give you something extra okay okay perfect that it is going to, again it's going to help you a lot okay and the idea is this i mean if you have noticed i want everybody speaking more and more and more yeah yeah I don't, yeah i don't know if you like that style that we got here well that i got i like teacher i need to improve my english i, I don't know if i told you or i will no, no maybe no uh, in my job i have uh, some meetings with uh with americans we, and yeah. for me it's very complicated and frustrated because uh, it's difficult to uh, speak with them because i don't know what happened but sometimes i i am sh i am in shock when yeah, they speak happens. a lot when they yeah. speak quickly sometimes that it's happens. very difficult that's normal oh well then then please don't forget monday i got specifically what you need but i will give it to you on monday because if i give it to you now you are too tired you're not gonna check it and it's going to be like stressful on monday remind me i got something very good that is going to help you okay okay thank you teacher have a good night take care rest thank you thank you too bye, bye. Well, it's been fun, but it's time.
talk to you tomorrow. bye bye.